Hi, my name is Katie. And my name is Ivan. If you check out our how to videos on Ohio's 4-H entomology website, you can learn how to collect insects using pen traps and pitfall traps. Today we wanted to talk to you a little more about how we use pan traps and pitfalls to study insect diversity in Cleveland, Ohio. The same insect collecting techniques that you are learning in 4-H are used by scientists throughout the world for entomology research. In our research, we are interested in how different combinations of plants in urban Cleveland support insect diversity. Insect biodiversity is really important because insects have different roles like pollinating flowers and crops and eating other insects' pests. When insect communities are abundant and diverse, these pollination and pest control services are more secure. We monitor insect communities in Cleveland in order to see how many species are currently living in the city and whether planting native prairie plants like coneflower or bee balm can increase the number of insects that are living in urban Cleveland. Pitfall traps help us look at the insects living on the ground or ground-dwelling insects. When we disguise pitfalls in the soil, nearby beetles, ants, and spiders will walk into this trap by accident and become stuck in soapy water. Pan traps, on the other hand, help us look at insects that feed on flowers. Pan traps are painted either blue or yellow or white and mimic what a flower looks like to a bee, a fly, or a wasp. However, when the insect lands in the pan trap, they will fall into the soapy water and can't get out. Collecting insects is really important because it helps us look at these insects up close and see all of their features. When we see their features, we can identify what species of insects are in the environment around us. Our work in Cleveland will help us discover what plants can support more species of beneficial insects and make sure that we always have pollinators and insect predators in the city. If you want more information about what we study, check out our lab's website in the link below this video. Thanks for watching and good luck with your 4-H insect projects.